Hey friends, so, man, this better be a first take. This is live, and maybe I'll do music later. But the title of the video is, How do you create an environment for self-healing and self-care? And the beautiful thing about that is if you like helping other people out, and you're at your best, and obviously you're gonna be more effective in helping other people out. So, self-care and self-healing, that takes some time. And who has time for that? I mean, take me for example. I got all these wonderful videos on how to make this wonderful medicinal self-care, self-healing kind of food that you can use for yourself and for your whole family or friends. And I've got all these different modalities and all of it takes time. And there's not much of a shortcut behind that, to be honest with you. And then even if you do the deed, but you feel rushed, that adds stress and that goes against self-care. So, and nobody seems to have any time. And if people don't take the time to do self-care, self-healing on a daily basis. That's, this is a daily thing that has to happen. Then it's eminent. You will exhaust yourself. Clinical, clinical exhaustion is at an all-time high. And it regularly hits a new all-time high. So it's progressively getting worse because nobody takes time for self-care. But there's that logistical problem of like, how do I do that? I have two or three jobs. I have other adult responsibilities. I just don't have time for it. And that is a real problem, a very real problem. And that self-care cannot be addressed. Self-care cannot be addressed without addressing that real logistical problem. So how do you deal with that logistical problem so that you can have the time for self-care on a regular basis without feeling rushed and you enjoy the process and it's peaceful and it's beautiful and you actually go somewhere with it with your own self-care and your own self-healing and your ability to be more effective in helping other people out. One phrase in two words, it's called passive income, and I talk about it all the time. Passive income gives a person the space, the time space, the time freedom to self-care. I'll use my own example. Whenever I start to feel like I'm coming down with something, I can take the time that I need to self-care. I'm a workaholic. I love working. I have, I have to keep myself busy. That's just the way that I am, and I like the way that I am. So I'm a workaholic, but if I start to feel like I'm coming down with something, I need to take perhaps some extra time. Sorry about that little interruption, but I have to take some extra time for self-care and self-healing if I feel like I'm coming down with something. And what that's gonna look like for me, I don't know. I might light up some incense, get some fragrances going. I might listen to some um, something on YouTube, you can type in keyword searches of healing sounds and you can just get this looping stuff that goes for hours of frequencies that are actually proven to help he people heal or de-stress and all those other things. Food, certainly. I'm going to take the time to make the medicinal type of stuff that you see me making in, in my videos. That's certainly going to help. And then, of course, whenever, whenever you can avoid uh, pharmaceutical-graded medications, anytime you find a natural therapy that works for you and you take the time to do that, then your immune system is going to be stronger versus you know pharmaceutical stuff you got to do what you got to do but anytime you need to take a pharmaceutical um, it impedes your natural processes of healing so the pharmaceutical might kick whatever out of your body but you're going to be more vulnerable because your immune system is weaker because you didn't take the time to self-care and self-heal so natural therapies when you get sick and you deal with it with natural therapies when as you can then your immune system gets better and you become more like a superhuman, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so as a result, I haven't been seriously sick in over a decade now. And that is because, and by the way, before that, before 10 years ago, I'd get seriously sick several times a year. And then bam, it stopped. I haven't been seriously sick at all in the past 10 years. Once in a while, I feel like I'm starting to come down with something, but it doesn't get real bad and my body is pretty effective at kicking it out. I haven't me, I haven't had any pharmaceutical graded medication, not even an aspirin, not even an aspirin in well over 10 years, 10 or 11 years, something like that. I don't need it <laughs> because of the self-care, self-healing. Even if, if I feel perfectly healthy, I still take time for self-care and self-healing on a daily basis. That's preventative. And an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? But then on those rare moments where I do feel like I'm starting to come down with something, I take extra time for self-care, and depending on what it is that I feel, I'll you know do according what I think is going to be best: food, wise, aromatherapy, sounds, healing vibrations, and all those kinds of things. 
And the only way that somebody can really do that, it goes back to the solution that I gave you in a two word phrase, passive income, because that gives a person the space to be able to self care. There are many, many families and many individuals who have a cancer diagnosis, either in themselves or somebody in their family, and they can't be there. They can't be present because they're worried about how the bills are gonna be paid or how they're gonna get the time to deal with it when they should be, their whole heart and energy should be where it needs to be, when it needs to be, how it needs to be, but it can't be because that person did nothing throughout the course of their entire lives to this point to create passive income, to have that time space for the self-care and the self-healing. And the passive income goes way beyond just self-care and self-healing. I'm going on a cruise this February because I feel like it. And that's going to be self-healing too because it's a cruise. I'll be in these tropical islands. I'll be eating great food around great people. That's self-healing, self-therapy, no stress. It's beautiful. And I'll be covered. And if I feel like I'm coming down with something or God forbid a family member comes down with something, I don't have to worry about bills. I got the time space already there. The key is freedom, like Iris just said. Thank you, Iris. Um, so my friends, that's what I'm, that's what I'm telling you to do. I'm not just suggesting it, man. If your value is to be a free human being, to be able to put your heart and your time and yourself where you need to be, when you need to be, how you need to be, whether it's for self care or taking care of somebody else uh, without worrying about how bills are going to be paid, then you need passive income. You need to go figure that out. Maybe learn what it is if you don't know what it is. But I'm telling you, conceptually, just understand it gives you the space that you need, the time freedom so that you can deal with these things and be where you need to be, when you need to be. And without naming any names, I would never ever do that. But I have so many friends, even just here on Facebook, where it's like um, they won't do anything to create passive income. And they'll tell me, but Tom, I'm happy with my job and things like that. And then a week later, a day later, a year later, something terrible happened to them or their family or their kids they need to be somewhere and they are not covered all of their focus is on how they're going to be covered how they're going to get the time because they don't have it because they didn't do anything to great passive income because they used that stupid dodge and that stupid crutch and deflection of but i'm happy with my job well you're not happy when you need to be somewhere desperately and you can't because you're happy enough with your job to be a slave to your wages. And that's such a stupid, self-sabotaging way to live. You can't self-care and self-heal as, as you need to if you don't do anything to create any passive income for yourself. So that's the reason why you need it. Everyone does. And unfortunately, you're not going to learn about this in our public school system. The largest banks in the world, I think it was the year 1901, they purchased the School Board of Education and they've been writing the curriculum ever since because they need obedient workers. You are easier to control and manipulate if you depend on your job to pay your bills and eat. If you depend on your job to pay your bills and eat, you're easy to control and manipulate. And that's what's been taught in our school system ever since 1901 when the biggest banks in the world took it over and to this day, they still own it and they still create the curriculum to keep you obedient and to keep you controlled and manipulated. They don't, you have to get outside of that box, outside of the bubble of what you're taught in school about money and what they talk about in corporate owned media and corporate owned politicians you need to get out of that box be curious that's why people that have no curiosity are dead <laughs> they don't they don't do well um because if you're not curious you're not going to peek outside of the box why do you care you're not curious you have to get outside of that box and look around and start learning things and one of those things you have to learn is passive and residual money so that you can create the time space the time freedom you need to deal with things and be where you need to be, when you need to be, where you need to be, how you need to be. And without living underneath the thumb of anybody that can tell you what to do or having to push something past a gatekeeper at your job who can say no. What the fuck is that about? But, um, and that's how most of you are living and it's not enough to love your job. I'm not sorry to say that because that's usually, for one, some people lie about it to deflect so they don't have to deal with what's really important. And there's some people who really do love their job and they're being honest, but so what? That's not enough. When you need to be somewhere and your gatekeeper says, no, you can't, then your love for your job, you've screwed yourself with and your family. You've ripped yourself and your family, maybe your kids off with the love that you have for your job, but you had no inclination to create any freedom for yourself so that you could be where you need to be when you need to be there. And that's true. That's not just a different opinion. That is an empirical, observable fact. <laughs> so I, I hope that you take that and you run with it and you're not offended by it. And it's okay to be pissed off.
<laughs> pissed off is a much higher level of consciousness than apathy. Remember that. And don't confuse being pissed off for taking offense because some people get offended and offense uh, does not solve problems. It's not a problem solving emotion. Um, taking offense is a self-sabotaging kind of emotion and it keeps you obedient to being controlled by the dollar. So if you need to be pissed off to take some positive action, do it. That was my start in the beginning. I was extremely pissed off, but my attitude in being pissed off was I'm never going to be treated like that again. And I promised myself I would never be in that situation ever again where somebody could say yay or nay over my uh, something that's really important that I needed to do with my life, whether it be self-care or whatever. That doesn't matter. I made a promise to myself and I, I was pissed off enough to keep that promise. And to this day, I've kept that promise over a decade later. So you have the solution. I'm going to, um, I'm going to include a video that I made of four ways of getting this passive income. And it's kind of a long video, but it's noteworthy and there's no dead space in it whatsoever. And if you don't see it, just let me know. I'll post the link to you somewhere here or there, wherever that you can see it. But that's all I wanted to share with you, friends. The ultimate, you can't even talk about creating an environment, whatever that's gonna look like physically for self-healing and self-care if you don't logistically have the time and the space to do it. And the only way you're gonna have that is passive income. And that's all I got for you. So hello everyone. I see a bunch of names in here. Not too much in the way of commenting. A couple of words of encouragement, pretty cool. So I'm gonna end this. I'll give you guys a second or two to comment if you wish. And then I'm gonna go play my guitar and stuff. So any comments, any questions? Just a couple of seconds. You'll have to type quickly because I don't really feel like staying on this thing right now. And I'll make another video later about another topic matter and maybe a music video too later. So you can stick around for that if you want. Hi, Evie. Sugar. Okay. Take care, everybody. Gave you a chance to speak out. You still can later because most people won't see this until after it's recorded versus live. It's just the way that it is. So I'll talk to you later. And if you like this stuff, I got my website, TomBerkenmeyer.com. Speaking of self-care, healing, and uh, freedom, and passive income, my website is loaded with information about that too, TomBerkenmeyer.com. And share this, and I'll see you later. Mwah.